Hello, my name's Tony Hulse and I'm Head of Media at Cornwallis Academy. We were asked to make a memoir in video form for the time capsule being buried in the heart space of the new build. We felt that our film should be mostly people. People, teachers, students, because that's what this place is about. People, not the building. It's about the students and the teachers and the relationships between them and all the things happening with people. So that's, that's the focus of our film. And it was myself and Nathan who came up with the kind of the structure of it and so on. Nathan's going to say a few words about what he wanted to achieve and I hope you enjoy watching this whenever you may be watching it. Hi, my name is Nathan Scott. Um, I'm the sixth form student that created this video. I'm the editor and also the producer. Um, this video started off to be about the school itself and the building but as I went along interviewing people came more about just the, not just the building, it was about the people and how much they cared about the school and how much they enjoyed their time here. So um, it does get quite emotional in places. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Our most embarrassing moments, I think we can speak for the both of us, has been the head boy and head girl speech. Literally, I was absolutely shaking. It was the most awful experience of my life. I don't know with me uh, planning the speech, mm -hmm. had it all written out perfectly, had quotes, and then decided to get up there, put the bit of paper down and go completely differently to what I planned. And it was yeah, quite embarrassing, especially as it went on YouTube. Um, falling off the chair in the common room, breaking a chair in the common room, um, burping in someone's face the first time I meet them. That was, that was quite bad. We had this fitness exercise in the hall and we had to do star jumps and dance and everything. Oh, and me and my friend just carried, just done random dancing and everyone was sitting there staring at us. It's kind of funny. My most <laughs> embarrassing moment will have to be walking out in PE and then having just, having, forgetting to wear my shorts and just had like rainbow coloured boxers on and I got ridiculed for oh it for a year. It You're was so awful. You're so silly. I know, I know, tell me about it. My most cherished mem memory is probably the, the first day that I came here, which was, um, I think it was the 3rd of January 1992, when um, the current, the year 10 at the time was actually, the year area was the current 6th form. But it was a much smaller part and we had small classrooms and we had no large teaching spaces. So I, that, that sticks in my mind actually coming here on that, that very first day. Yeah, making new friends. My most memorable part of being in school so far is probably being in the sports teams. Oh, it has to be children, yeah, really, doesn't it, Kayla? Uh, amazing. Everyone came out in superheroes. Yeah. I came as Iron Man. What did you come as? Wilma. Ben's Wilma. Sorry, oh, it was brilliant. <laughs> Head so girl fun. down there. She came up with a photo booth. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, super, sorry. Who was the photographer? Oh, yeah. yeah. Came as <laughs> lead photographer, I must say. We um, did a performance show thing in year eight and all my friends came to me with that and that was really fun, that was at the Hazlitt and that was really good. My best moment is just meeting meeting the people. I've made so many new friendships here and it's changed me as a person really because I'm able to become like the person who I wanted to be. I'm no longer like having to impress people like with, like my knowledge of football which is non existent, which I used to just make up all the time. <laughs> and um, Talking about cars, which I don't really understand. And I've got an engine and a wheel. <laughs> we drive it, that's what I is. But you know, I'm able to talk about like the things that I like, like um, like the X Factor or Big Brother. I can talk to people about that. And there's some people in particular like, I'm able to be like just just me. I can I don't have to like be anyone else. I can just be me. That's the most about the cool noise made with the kids. They're absolutely fantastic. They are a great, great bunch of young people that um, I'm proud to be working with. Um, the staff also are fantastic. They're very, very supportive. They work um, very, very, they work collegiately with the students, um, and there are really, really positive relationships amongst the students and the staff, and the staff and the students, and the staff and the staff. So it's, it's quite a, quite a happy place. Um. What I love about the Cornwallis, um, and specifically in the sixth form, is definitely the, the relationships between the teachers and students. But when you're in the younger years, it's, you're obviously there's millions of you, but as you get older, you get more trusted, and you know there's more of a relationship with them. And it's just so lovely to um, be spoken to like an adult and to have 
a good relationship and a happy class. I think that to carry on as he said that teaching pupil relationship is very good here, so I really enjoyed it. You didn't have to work on the reason why I know I've stayed on. I wanted to stay here for this whole seven years. I think they're much better, yeah, much good, better. Though. I think we act so much more as a community now, don't we, at this school? So much more. It's just that when you're in year seven, it felt like we were like the outsiders, but now everyone just seems like they just work together. Yeah, together. It it's is. Better. Well, the school is brilliant, isn't yeah. it, really, now? Just get everyone involved. I don't feel like it's years as well. Like, no. It's like seven, eight, nine, so I feel like... There's no divide at the school. Together, don't they? Everyone, everyone helps each other. Every year seven's are lost, we help them. Yeah. It's just... Just work really well, everyone. Yeah. Now. Fun, but also get the same time. I quite like all this because there's a lot of like, different people here and I can get to meet new, new people who I would, wouldn't normally meet. And then there's a lot more students here than I hope you don't know. Um, the new build is going to be challenging. It's a completely different education environment, both for students and for staff. I think the new build is a massive opportunity for people. Um, if you look at the fact that the loads of cuts there, we've got a building that's worth 38 million. That's a real brilliant thing to advertise the school for. Uh, Josh and I have actually been to the new learning building, and you know, it's just so amazing to see what they've seen and seen which uh, students in it, and so I think. You know, having one here that which is what twice as big or yeah. at least bigger is just going to be such a great experience for all the Cornwallis um, students of the future. It's so amazing down there, like high ceilings and everything. It's just like there's oh my God, different areas for everything. It's so nice down there. I must admit, I'm going to miss not being here for another year. Yeah, definitely. In more than all, I think I'll miss the people. You know, you meet so many varieties of people. You know, there's so many different personalities, and that'll be a real when you leave, yeah, there's the challenges, but you'll miss those faces that you see every day. Um, what, what I think I'm going to miss is the same thing that I'm really scared about leaving, and that's just sort of coming out of routine and being have to grow up. So, you know, I've so much enjoyed just being here and being able to have my lunch at the same time, and everything's been structured. And when I leave, it's going to be such a different place. Obviously, a lot, a lot of memories here, I've been here quite a long time, so uh. Just the general layout. I'm obviously heavily involved in the new build now, so I know my way around there already. Um, so that will be a problem. That was one of the things I found really difficult when I first came here, was to actually find your way around because it's quite a maze, and I think lots of people experience that. I'll probably miss the new classrooms and the big sports hall. Um, I will probably miss. Probably the memories in the classroom, because say you walk into a classroom and then you think, oh yeah, in here we had this, uh, like a certain lesson or something, and you remember it, so it would probably be stuff like that. It's gone yeah. so too fast, hasn't it? So it's been fast. amazing, yeah. best time of my life, yeah. best time. What do you think? Well, there's always bad time, but it's, most of it's pretty good. Obviously you go yeah. through the ups and downs on yeah. in school, but there's it's so many, like so many. It felt like yesterday we just kind of missed it. I know. Now we're I know. So many more positives out than negatives here. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The Cornwallis is, so, is so popular because of the positive relationships that the staff have with the students. That's the bottom line. This, this, the staff here really care. You know, they really, they really do care whether one the students are successful or two. They care about each of the students that they teach on, on a personal level. You know, that they notice if. You know, the heads down a bit today, or they're not—they're not quite looking looking quite right today, or you know—and and I think that, that 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 comes across from conversations that I have with with um, with students. The fact that you know, staff really do care—it's not just a nine to five for the staff here. It is about you know, truly caring about the, the, the student, and not just about exam results. It's about actually, you know, you come here and you can be looked at the, the byproduct is you'll get great results as well, but that's part of it. But um, uh, I think a, an important part, but not the, the be all and end all for us here, is about you know, looking after the child and looking after.
to everybody. Um, and it's a fairly happy place. For anyone who's been here, it, like I saw, I walked past Oprah a few weeks ago and there was only the main reception and a classroom there. And it was just, it's a place that holds so many memories and to see it go is just it's heartbreaking really. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> Like, because I was walking past my friend's room and we were just thinking, God, I've seen a teacher shout at my friend because he's catching rats in there. And it's just like, weird things like that just make us, make a school. Um, Cornwallis isn't just a school, it is a place where it moulds your future. It moulds us who you are as a person and it has encouraged me as well, especially me and I think Josh as well, to um, grow and become my own person. And, you know, I'm so sad to be leaving because I really, really feel like this is my home now and I'm so comfortable with being here and it's going to be something that I remember for the rest of my life. I'm done with it, but I'm really done. No, I, no, I it just is. love it through so much it's, with everyone, like teachers, students, to be honest. It's been the best, best it's part of my life. Good as well. The invaluable experience which you learn yeah. from being in school and at this school, particularly this school, yeah. just you're never going to see in the we, I'd say if we were at another school, we'd never be, we'd yeah. never turn out like, yeah. Yeah. like we have now. With just the confidence you get from being at Commerce, the ambition they give you, yeah. the drive, the maturity, just the yeah. maturity yeah. and they, you have the relationship. The relationship between students and teachers are just priceless at this school. It's brilliant. And especially at sixth form, just treat it them as adults. Well definitely for I'm blessed, you know, this is a massive family here at the school. You know, just a few people last year leaving. It was a massive deal, very emotional. And now it's done the whole year group for us. And it's been a real challenge to let go of them all. And it's just it's our family, you know, you come in, you speak to them and it, it's just it's coming home. And now we're gonna miss that.